Okay, here we go. Hey, what's up everyone? Kaban and Ronnie 456 here. Today I can share my Let's Play on Sonic Heroes. And today we are going to be doing Team Rose's story. So we have a little uh, training station right here. Um, stage? What am I talking about? Station? Um, so yeah, Oma Chow basically walks you through like the basics in this game. Though we've already, you know, played this game like with Team Sonic, Team Shadow, um, Team Dark, I mean. And Team Chaotix. So we don't need to know all this stuff. We can just kind of blaze through it. We don't have to be concerned about it or anything. Because it's stuff that we already know. So, but yeah, Team Rose is one of the easiest characters to play with. Which is why they have this little tutorial right here. Because uh, they want to, like, teach you the basics and all. And these stages are really, really short for uh, Team Rose. Because basically... You know, they're like the other stages, but they have less enemies, and the stages are a lot shorter. So, my videos for Team Rose may actually be around, like, 10 minutes long, like, for each video. So, they're gonna be very, very short compared to my other videos. But, um, you know, that means that I should be finished with Team Rose's story maybe in about a week or so. Because I'll probably have some more parts, and then I have to do the final story, but... Yeah, um, Team Rose, though, it consists of Amy, Cream, and Big the Cat, and then Cheese is along with Cream. And, uh, they're very overpowered, actually, in my opinion. Um, while they, d I don't think Amy has a wall jump or anything like that, um, you know, Big the Cat is one of the most overpowered powered characters, and, um, probably the best one, actually, in my opinion. Which is weird, because I don't like Big the Cat as a character, as you all probably saw yesterday in my Sonic Adventure DX livestream. When I was playing him in that game, it was super duper annoying, and I've just never been fun to Big the Cat as a character. But in this game, he's actually pretty good to play with, it's just annoying to listen to him. But... We are about to come to the end of this little tutorial right here. Um, let's see right here. I gotta actually, uh, I was a bit too far right there before. Now we're gonna have to place Big the Cat right here. But see right here, Big the Cat has a move just like Vector to where he can bounce his belly all over the place and, uh, take out boxes, enemies, and stuff, and it's very useful. Also, he doesn't slip around as much as you see right here whenever he attacks, which is, uh, really good, because that's one huge flaw with the other characters, how they do bounce around all over the place. So, anyway, let's go and take out these enemies right here. They're all gone. And we're gonna go on and do Team Blast right here. So, here we go! And Team Blast, basically, as you all know, um, allows you to take out all enemies, you become invincible, and then you get a shield, and every single character in the group gets leveled up. It is the most overpowered, like, you know, Team Blast in the game, actually. It's just like, wow, freaking crazy. Okay, so we gotta take out these enemies, and there we go, we're done. You see right there? And here's a gold ring. So there we go, we completed Seagate Stage 0. Yeah, this was not the first stage in the game, just a tutorial. So we don't get any rank or anything like that. But these stages should be incredibly easy to get an A rank though, so I won't be having like all these C ranks and junk. But anyway, now we're going to go on to Seaside Hill. Alright then, so I thought this cutscene was about to come up, but I guess not, so... And sorry if I do sound a bit weird right now, um, reason why is because I've kind of been dealing with a runny nose lately after coming back from 
um, Seattle, Washington to go to PAX Pride. So, kind of got a runny nose, and it kind of sucks, but, you know, decided that I wanted to go on and record this still. So, because a lot of people have been asking me still to, like, you know, to do this, so I was just like, you know, let me go on and just do it, and, uh, you know, even though I may sound a bit weird in this first part, you know, I don't think people will really mind too much. Since I did record a couple of videos already, like New Super Mario Bros. 2. Anyway, right here, let's go on to Big the Cat, play through all rings like a boss, yes! And I, rec I recommend actually um, leveling up Big the Cat, because, like I said, he's one of the most useful power characters. So, you definitely want to um, use him to your advantage. It's funny, like, I never do play with many of the power characters with other teams, but with Team Rose, I love playing with Big the Cat, because he's just so... I don't know, like, he's very, he's very useful. He's not like anyone who's going to slip off the edge or anything like that, like the other characters. See, I'm not, I'm not biased against characters. I give credit where credit is due, and Big the Cat, my least favorite character in the Sonic series, is actually the best power character, in my opinion, in this game, so... Alright, so let's see right here. Um, I think I'm gonna come over to the cannon right here, see where this takes us. Ooh. But yeah, I think we're almost done with the stage, actually, right here. Yeah, look here. Just have a little bit more to go, and then we'll be done. Like I said, these videos should only be like 10 minutes each, really, for most of them. Maybe the later levels will be 15 minutes instead of like 30 minutes, compared to the other stages, like to the other teams. But, yeah, that's still pretty darn short. Okay, there we go. But yeah, um, Team Rose does, though, have some different, like, um, you know, Ro Amy Rose has different uh, moveset compared to, like, the other characters. Like, she doesn't have a wall jump, but she does have, like, a super high jump, like, to where you can actually use your hammer or something in order to actually fly really high. See right here? Look at this. We're already done, and it's only been 2 minutes and 26 seconds. Pretty crazy. But anyway, let's go and get the level up right there, and there we go. Goal ring. Look at that, they're like slapping their hips together. Ooh, <laughs> oh, I'm big for cat. I'm a lazy man. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but let's see right here. We must have gotten an A rank. <coughs> see right there? Yes! Freaking score. That was awesome. So yeah, though, anyway, it's not really that much of a feat, though, to get A ranks with Team Rose's story. In fact, if you don't, then it's kind of pathetic. So, anyway, now, though, we're going to be going on to Ocean Palace, and I think this stage is just about as short as the first stage we played, Seaside Hill. See, look at that, Big the Cat, he's still going on about Froggy! Froggy, where are you? I'm looking for you! You make my puzzle complete. I'm joking. <laughs> that was funny. Whenever I see Big the Cat get froggy, he's always stuffing him in his butt. Like, I don't get that. Like, it's so weird. But then again, that's what Sonic does, like, with a ton of stuff like Chaos Emeralds, like in Sonic 06. It was like, they all pulled the Chaos Emeralds out of their buttholes. Anyway, let's come on over this way. And I think I'm gonna use Amy this time. Cause yeah, Amy is actually a cool character in this game. She's a really powerful- a oh gosh, that was close. Um, her hammer attack is actually very useful as well. I'm sorry, not her hammer, her tornado attack is very useful as well. Cause it actually has range compared to Espio's. See so yeah, right here, we can't use a wall jump right there, which sucks. But, eh, uh, well. That that's probably her only like uh, you know bat the only bad thing about Amy Rose is that she doesn't have a wall jump. And I like the triangle jump in this game. I thought it was pretty cool actually. So kinda sucks that it's not in here for Amy Rose, but eh. Okay, what the heck? I lost all my momentum and everything. And we're see a team blast peeking down. There we go. Now we unlock team blast. We're not gonna use it just yet though. Go ahead and get this. Get the one up. One thing that's actually kind of uh, funny about Big is that he's actually s decently fast in this game. I thought he would be extremely slow. Like when I first saw him in the game, I thought he was going to be terrible to play with. 
I mean, you can tell he's slower than the other characters, unless, like, you get speed boosters, and then, you know, he's not that bad, but, you know, just running, he's not really a slow character. But yeah, if they actually had Big the Cat play more like this, compared to, like, you know, Sonic Adventure DX and stuff like that, probably like him a bit more, actually. I just don't like him as a character, though. <laughs> though the funny thing about Big the Cat, actually, is that he's act his voice actor is actually the voice actor who does Duke Nukem, in case you all didn't know that, so... <laughs> kind of funny that they have... One dude who's like known for being- OH MY GOSH WHAT?! Whoa! Hold up now! I've just followed the cannon! And it sent me into the water. What the flip? So, if I don't get an A rank on this stage, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on and say that right now, cause that was- What the flip? Okay, now I finally get on here. Wow, that sucked. Okay, where is the booster? There we go. Alright. See right here, I think I'm gonna do speed type this time. That sucks though. Can't believe that happened. But yeah, actually, let me show you all Team Rose's tornado attack. See there, it has a range, so it doesn't just stay in one place. You can actually send... See right here? Just blow them all. Like, and it keeps going for quite a distance, as you can see right there in the background. But we are almost, see there? Look at that, we're almost at the end right here. Let's just go ahead and get these item boxes really quickly. We don't need flight, or do we? No, we don't. Screw flight. There we go. So yeah, I don't think I'm getting an A rank because of that death there that was totally uncalled for. But, let's see what we get here. Probably get a B rank or a C rank. A uh, B rank, it's not bad. Yeah, they're pretty lenient with score with Team Rose, so... Man, I can't believe that. I could have gotten all three A... like, three A ranks in this video, but that stupid death had happened. Like, that pissed me off. But, oh well. So you're the one to are playing games with my heart. Alright then, so once again we have to go against the Egg Hawk, and basically the strategy for this boss is just like the others. Um, basically you just want to kind of get to the... Okay, come on, Amy. Quit with your hammer already. See, that's probably one annoying thing about Amy, like her hammer attack. Um, but anyway, I just recommend using Big the Cat to bounce right here on uh, Eggman right here. It's not as fast or as useful as, uh, you know, um, vectors, because Big the Cat bounces and wastes a lot of time while he's up in the air. But see right there, look at that. We gotta do another round. So I'm gonna try and home attack and see how far I can get here. Take him out, because we could have gotten an A rank right here, but because of Big the Cat not being fast enough, couldn't, so... Come on, come on. There we go. We got it. So let's see what we get right here. Probably a B rank. I can't believe I'm doing so terrible. I was talking about how embarrassing it is if you don't get an A rank. Come on, come on. Give me an A rank. Please be nice to me, game. Please be nice. Oh my gosh, we got an A rank! Whoa, I didn't expect that. Well... Alright then, well, I guess that basically does it for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, next time we'll be continuing on and do Grand Metropolis and Power Plant with Team Rose. So yeah, this, uh, you know, I mean, we did have one death in this video, mostly, it was, well, it wasn't my fault at all, but, you know, it's all good. I mean, we would have gotten A rank anyway if that hadn't happened, but... You know, uh, the rest of this, like, you know, story should be a cakewalk, so looking forward to it, I guess. <laughs> but thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace. Come on, runs.